20 disturbing things people have found hidden inside the walls of their homes What's that your walls aren't full of bees snakes or bats? Well, you're doing a lot better than these poor folks then Chances are you don't spend a lot of time thinking about what's hiding inside the walls of your home But looking through this list of disturbing things that other people have found in there Maybe you should after all whether it's dead or alive an inanimate object or just something totally horrifying you never know what might be lurking in there fingers crossed it's not any of these though back in 2005 first-time buyers Carrie and Jason Brown found what seemed like their perfect starter home until that is they stumbled upon a passageway to a secret room hidden inside a wall that may sound exciting but the corridor was actually filled with toxic black mold and the previous owners had had to get out for the sake of their children's health of all the things to find in the wall of your home there's surely nothing more immediately frightening than a live bomb but that's exactly what the Whitmans found lurking inside their bathroom wall in 2011 the alarmed couple quickly took the Korean War era device outside and called the police who evacuated the neighborhood eventually the bomb squad arrived and safely detonated the small green bomb if your walls start humming your first thought might be to check the pipes not so for one New Jersey homeowner who discovered in 2017 that their wall was actually full of particularly aggressive bees indeed the hive was enormous containing tens of thousands of bees and a whopping 40 pounds of honey fortunately a local beekeeper managed to get them out well bees are fairly easily removed from walls bats are a different story altogether just ask Katrina Arkind and Matthew Dewan who bought a farmhouse in 2015 only to find that the space behind the chimney was full of bats Unfortunately for the couple bats will do all they can to return to their home roost making them impossible to get rid of Not all disturbing house finds are bad news for the homeowners Indeed one couple's luck came in when they began renovating their kitchen in 2015 and found a safe built into the floor They'd even found the combo when they first moved in so they quickly cracked it open and inside found a vintage bottle of bourbon a book and more than fifty thousand dollars in cash in the 17th century fear of the black arts and witchcraft was at its height as a result people turned to all sorts of desperate remedies to ward off the supposed evil including witch bottles one such bottle still corked was found in Greenwich London in 2009 apparently it was filled with urine hair and nail clippings then buried as a kind of spell device a witch bottle isn't the only spell binding discovery made in the walls of homes indeed in 2011 water engineers discovered a mummified cat in the walls of a 17th century cottage but this wasn't just any cottage in fact it's on a site that's thought to have been a witch coven in Lancashire England finding something living in your walls is probably pretty disturbing but it still doesn't match up to finding a series of hidden cameras yeah that's exactly what one couple found in their rental property in Sydney in 2016 and it turned out that they were being monitored by their landlord who had set up the camera so he could watch his tenants have sex creepy doesn't begin to describe it imagine sharing your home with dozens of snakes this was the reality of life for one couple Amber and Ben Sessions in 2009 they bought a home that turned out to be filled with the slippery serpents Indeed, the animals lived in the walls but would frequently slither out to surprise the homeowners, who lasted three months before abandoning the house. Finding human bodies in the walls of an old chapel could easily point to something sinister. However, when that chapel is located at Harvard, you'd have a good reason to question those motivations. And one such find in 1999 did in fact seem to point to academic reasoning rather than, say, you know, murder. Indeed, the chapel was apparently once part of the medical school. Usually when you buy a house, the previous owner takes everything with them when they leave. However, when the previous owner passes away, it's up to their family to do that. And when they don't, the new owner can make some interesting finds. This guy, for instance, stumbled upon a whole cache of ammunition in the walls of his new basement. In 1985, James Nichols reported his wife, Joanne, missing. 28 years later, her body was finally discovered. In the home she lived in with her husband according to medical examiners she had died from blunt force trauma to the head she'd then been stashed inside a plastic bin and hidden behind a false wall in the basement 
going undiscovered for nearly three decades. Imagine buying a house that you know has 400 barrels of toxic waste on site. You're already facing an uphill battle, but maybe it's one you're ready to deal with. Until that is, you knock down one of the walls and find another 400 barrels. That's exactly what happened to Sukinder Sandhu, who purchased a house in Ontario, Canada and found himself with a $1 million cleanup bill. There are some things you just don't want to find in the walls of your home, no matter your religious or spiritual beliefs. And we definitely count an old Ouija board among them. Indeed, this one was found by a construction worker trying to gain access to a vent. Imagine pulling away the cover to be greeted by this image. We wouldn't sleep properly for weeks. It doesn't get much more disturbing than finding an actual mummified baby in the wall. Unfortunately for Bob Kinghorn, that's precisely what he discovered in a house he was renovating in 2007. And the poor infant had clearly been there quite some time as it was covered in newspaper that dated back to 1925. In 2007, six-year-old Richard Jakevdia's parents were locked in a fierce custody battle. Then, one day, mother and son disappeared. Two years later, police found them living behind a wall in the boy's grandmother's house. Astonishingly, the child had likely never left the secret room during the entire two-year period. If you were to find a secret crawl space in your home, you'd probably want to check it out. But what if you then found a safe inside that contained a VHS tape labeled no, 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 and a note reading, save yourself. Yet we basically never watched those tapes. Apparently everything was shared with the local authorities as part of an ongoing case, so it's probably even worse than you think. Finding antique clothes stuffed into your wall might actually be pretty cool, or at least it would be if they weren't horribly filthy. This corset, for instance, was recovered from behind a wall in a Welsh cottage in 2002, but it was in terrible condition. Hiding garments and walls is a ritual that stretches back as far as the Middle Ages and was likely done out of superstition. Chances are checking for meth residue isn't high on your list of concerns when finding somewhere to live, and neither was it for Rob Quigley and Jen Friberg, who bought what seemed like their ideal home in Pennsylvania in 2010. However, it really should have been. After just a few months, they realized they were living in an old meth lab, giving them all sorts of health complications. It sounds like something Sid from Toy Story would do, but this was apparently totally real. Indeed, according to an anonymous Redditor, one guy found a bunch of little green army men behind a wall he was knocking down. Only these army men were hanging on strings by their necks. It doesn't get much creepier than that.